After 35 years, Voyager 1 is set to exit the solar system. Why is this such a big deal? Well, it's the first time, and uh, we really don't know what's out there beyond the solar system because we've never been out there. In the past 35 years, what has Voyager helped us learn about the weather even here on Earth? Voyager visited the giant planets, um, Ju Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And uh, one curious thing was <clears throat> We were able to forecast the weather on those planets uh, weeks ahead because the engineers in the spacecraft said, well, we want to know where to point the cameras three weeks from now. And we had to tell them uh, where the various storms would be. And so what it taught us was that the limits on predicting the weather that we think we understand on Earth don't always apply. And they certainly don't apply on those giant planets uh, where the storms last for uh, decades or even longer. If you had to make your best forecast as to what we might discover next, what's on your wish list of what's out there? I hope uh, we cross all those boundaries between the solar wind and the solar system and the interstellar space and can measure the composition of what's out there. Voyager only has a certain amount of time to cross those boundaries because it's, uh, it's running out of electricity. Wow, so it's still a lot to look forward to. Dr. Andrew Ingersoll, Professor of Planetary Science at Caltech, thanks so much for joining us. It was a pleasure.